So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys were one of the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi, everybody. I'm Martha here. So, this one for Doom Patrol... It's season two, episode four. It's gonna be a very brief um, review because man, I'm not sure <laughs> if this is um, some of the like some parts of this episode is YouTube appropriate. So I'm not. I'm gonna have to try my best to uh, abbreviate. <laughs> Definitely not allowed to want. Kids are not allowed to watch this one. No way. <laughs> so. Um, they, um, the people from that who used to live on, um, Danny Street came, came, came over to the Doom Patrol Manor to help put Danny back together again, but I guess he did not become a brick this time. He became a tire. <laughs> what, are they going to have him be a bus? <laughs> so he went from being a street to a brick to a tire. <laughs> So, they had, like, a big party. Um, Dorothy sang, um, that song from Willy Wonka. You know, the one that they sing when they're in the, um, the candy, um, they're in the, the place where, um, the one that Willy Wonka sings, the one that, um, in the candy room. The one with the chocolate, the one with the chocolate, um, uh, Waterfall is in the one, so you know what was what I mean. So she's just singing that song to help, and all of them like throw a party, and then like every single like hour we see like it gets closer to bedtime because um she told her you have to go to bed soon, and it keeps on like saying an hour, this many hours into bedtimes until eventually she ends up staying up to. Where she is uh, leaving her room, and Danny does after after um Dorothy sings a song. He he does um he does the bricks not packed together again, but he is talk he is doing the word things like he did in the, like he did in his episode. We did see like uh, how Dorothy felt like her time on Danny Street was um like a prison. And the candle maker is telling her, "Don't go to bed." Um, make probably he keeps like telling her to kill, um, Danny because uh, she does. He feels like she might have to go back to the street because she felt like it's a prison. And Rita's still having problems with her powers. Um, Flex help, and a little too much helps. You ask in my case, he helped like put the party together, but. They went to a room and do something a little inappropriate, and then we're just leave it at that. And somehow that a little inappropriate time led to um, them bringing a ghost and having a bunch of other ghosts having other little appropriate times. And we had a baby born that if the baby screams, all the kids in the world die. Apparently, so. What gets called the um the NC rating of the Ghostbusters basically because um they end up showing up and they have to try to kill this ghost but all of them get end up having um you no know, you know they end up having the O word <laughs> and. Um, I'm trying, I'm reading because I don't know what I'm, I'm allowed to say on YouTube, but I'll get in trouble. So, 
and Jane ends up having to be the one who stops it. And Jane, well, it's technically not Jane. It's one of the um, one of the other personalities. I think it's him, Hammerhead, and Cliff. Um, the chief was able to get Cliff high somehow. I don't know how you get a robot high, but okay. Um, Cyborg is back. He's just, he's just so a little upset what happened with, between him and his Brent, uh, him and his um, Brent benefits, whatever you want to call her. <laughs> um, have between those two, and apparently Hammerhead understand like end up understanding and, like after um, Cliff hugs her after she had to kill the after she kills she had to kill the weird baby thing, and Dorothy almost healing Danny. But she ended up stopping herself. Um, and this is when, um, like, Danny turned into a tire. And all the other characters, and all the um, other people left. I don't know if Rita's um, powers are fixed or not, but we'll see. So, yep, that's the best I can do for this episode. Um, apparently... Candle a maker. Hopefully, I said it right this time. Um, is really trying to mess with Dorothy a lot. Trying to make her like act like more of an adult when she really can't physically age. I don't know why. I don't know how um, how aging works with her because she obviously is to eleven somehow, but she has not aged further than that. So. If I want to explain to me how, like, aging works with Dorothy, they can't, they can't elaborate on that. Like I said, I read these comics, so. I'm thinking of this episode, a, um, like the last one, it was bizarre. Um. So, I'm thinking of this episode, a, um, 8 out of 10. Solly gives it. Off oh, pause! I'll see you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully I'll be able to elaborate more on the next episode. <laughs> I'm okay with it being appropriate to know, know how um, I'm able to explain what happens in the episode. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later. Bye!